Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today, I'll be sharing with you a new drugstore find. So this one kind of had me shook. I was at Ulta and I stumbled upon this new Milani product. Literally, I was really shocked because of the display. It had like testers and there were glass bottles. And I'm like, hold up, which brand is that? I walked up and it was Milani. It was the new Screen Queen foundation. And at the store that I was at, they had 17 shades. And then it said there were more shades available online. So um, the color range in the store, I thought it was like really good because it had light colors and it also had some really deep shades as well. And it was a good variety of the darker shades as well as the light shades. And then when I went online, I was like, holy cow, there were 45 shades on the website, literally drugstore makeup with 45 shades glass bottle got me shook so these retail at $13.99 each and you get one float ounce it does come in this glass bottle and it does come with a pump so i do really enjoy that and this is supposed to be a light to medium coverage foundation and it's primary like purpose of saying is screen queen is that it's supposed to block out blue light technology which um usually blue light emits from your cell phone or your computer screen if you're at work all the time and you're always working on your laptop or something um it seems like this would be a good foundation for you um personally i don't really work in front of the computer too much at work but I know a lot of people out there do, so we'll see. Here's a recap of the Milani Screen Queen Foundation from the website and the packaging. The Screen Queen Foundation has digital blue light filter technology that fights signs of digital damage on the skin. It has a luminous natural skin finish and has buildable light to medium coverage and is long lasting. So let's see like how this thing holds up, number one. Number two, TBH, I find it more damaging to be on a computer for like most people, um, like more their posture than I'm more concerned about like the light on my screen. But if it's a big concern for some folks, this might be a really good fit. We'll put it to a test. I'm really just trying to see where time to be honest and how the color matches for my skin and also the consistency and how it works with some of the other products that I use on a daily routine. So, all right, let's get to it. Let's test out 240 The One Vanilla. And I'm actually gonna compare the shades to my Fenty foundation. I am in the color 190. Um, that seems to suit me really well, so we'll see how these guys go, which one's more of a closer match to that Fenty one. 40 warm vanilla remember all right so we want to get a good match for my neck okay this is honestly a really good match from what i can see um to my neck and my face and it blends really nice. I like that it blends very easily, just like with your fingers. So that one's looking really good. And then on this side, I'm gonna put on the 260 Warm Bisque. This one is definitely warmer. It's hard to tell, I feel like, on the um, screen right now. But I feel like the uh, 240, the warm vanilla, is a better match for me right now. And I'm just going to compare it to my Fenty one. This one is the one I usually use on the daily. The lighting is kind of harsh, but... Um, this one is 240. This one is the Fenty. 
and this one is the 260. So the 240 is definitely a closer match to um, the Fenty one, so I will be using that on the rest of my face. I took off the tester foundations and now I'm just going to prime my skin with the Milk Cosmetics um, Hydro Grip Primer and this is bomb diggity. I'm going to go in with a foundation brush from It Cosmetics. So I'm just going to buff it right into the skin. Let's start here. Okay, so, so far it's a very easy to blend foundation. I am feeling it. It's really creamy, so I like that. I don't know if my brush like absorbed it all, but yeah, that pump was gone. <laughs> um, so it looks like we'll do another pump. Yo, I'm kind of shook. Like, I think I really like this foundation so far. Like, it looks really good on the skin, and it's super creamy. Um, not clinging on the dry spots. Has good coverage. This is definitely like a medium foundation. You can probably build it up to full if you wanted to, but I'm not a full coverage gal anymore. I used to be. I want to look like as cakey as possible, but now I'm like, now I'm good. Um, no, this is like a natural looking foundation. It's not as um, natural finish as I thought it would be. There, it looks a little bit more matte, but it's fine because I get oily skin and I'll get shiny throughout the day. So it'll end up looking more natural anyway. <laughs> Um, so, okay, so now that I am done um, using the foundation on my face, I am just going to finish up some powder, bronzer, and all that stuff, and I will get back to you guys, but yo, so right now, I am loving the foundation, no joke. I'm not a big drugstore foundation person because it's usually really hard to find my shade, and I find that some of the ones that I've used in the past like Octasa dies very quickly but we will see how this goes because if this goes well, girl, go get your coins and go to Ulta. All right. I just finished beating the rest of my face. How we looking? Okay, so anyway, back to the foundation. So far, I'm seriously like super impressed. I feel like this foundation is definitely more of a semi-matte, not totally matte, and it gives really good coverage. So I feel like I maxed it out to full and I didn't realize it, but it is a very buildable foundation. You can start at light, you could end at medium, or you can end at full, like me. So, I don't really mind it, because um, I'm going out uh, tonight with some friends and coworkers for dinner and sips, and we will do a check-in to see how the rest of my face looks tonight. But so far, I'm really impressed by how the foundation blends, the color range, of 45 shades like holy cow and it's super buildable 
I don't have anything like clinging of dry patches, any of that sort so far. So what I'm really looking for is um, see how it holds up to my skin type. I have combination skin and I want to see if it oxidizes or if it starts um, looking kind of gross and uh, clinging on to clumps of makeup. You know how it starts like separating real weird. Um, so we will do a check-in and I will see you guys later. All right guys, so it is check-in time. And so, how we look in? Okay, so I did look in the mirror as well. And so far, I think the foundation is still looking really good right now. It's been about four to five hours since um, I last applied it. I went out to dinner and I did go to the subway. And going to the subway, yo, that was a journey because it is so cold outside. It is literally 20 degrees out there. So anyway, um, my foundation has been through some climate change. And so in terms of long lasting i think it definitely lived up to that because the foundation looks really fresh still i think as the night went on it turned into a natural finish as it settled in with my oils on my face the only thing i did notice was that i have like a dry spot that i did moisturize before putting on the foundation and it kind of clung on to that i don't know if you guys can see it but it looks a little bit dry i feel like if i spray it down with um some of the rose mist that it would easily solve it and if i took like a beauty blender or something and there was like a similar situation around here near my jawline um the foundation did not oxidize at all which is like thank jesus it looks amazing still I love that the foundation has like 45 shades like for a drugstore foundation for 45 shades like holy crap I also love that the foundations like it has like a neutral to yellow undertone to it so it's not going to make me pink and I like the packaging a lot because it has the black bottle and it has the pump which makes it so easy and so much more sanitary Overall, I think this is a winner. I can't say about all the blue light technology to it though because I don't have any way of measuring that. All I can say is that it's very blendable, very buildable, long lasting, and it doesn't oxidize. So all those things check out for me and I would still recommend it. It's $13.99 at Ulta. So it is a little bit, I feel like higher um, for a drugstore foundation because typically I liked my extreme couponing at CVS like I mentioned earlier but I would repurchase this okay so the Milani screen queen foundation is dumpling babe approved yes anyway if you guys end up trying this foundation out remember it's available at Ulta for $13.99 and there are 45 shades out there so girl there has to be a shade out there for you anyway if you like this video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and hit that bell for notifications because I will see you guys next time. Okay, bye!